Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code and welcome to the third episode of our Chrome extension development series. In this episode we're going to be working on adding some logic to our popup.html page. As you can see here, it's just a blank static page that doesn't have any buttons, doesn't have any way to move around or to add logic to it. So we're going to add a button to it, we're going to add some logic to it using popup.js and we'll see how those two things work together. Alright, so let's get started. So hop right into your popup.html page, open up popup.js as well. All right. And now we're just going to add a button. So we can say button, let's set the ID of this button to button one. And the ID is just an identifier for the button so we can reference it within our popup.js and within our main.css files. And the text of the button, let's just call it click me. All right, and now save. And now let's hop into popup.js to add some logic to it. But before we do that, let's update and let's recreate that. As you can see, we have the button here, click me. I'm clicking on it right now. And as you can see, nothing really happens. So let's hop into popup.js. The first thing we're going to do is create a, an event listener. So what an event listener does is it sits there and it waits for some sort of event to happen, such as the user clicking on a button or the content of the page loading or the user clicking the space bar on their keyboard. It waits for whatever event that the programmer tells it to wait for. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna say document dot add event listener the event listener it's or the event that this event listener is listening for is going to be called dom content loaded and then we're going to have a function here so once this event happens we're going to have a function that's called and within this function we're going to do whatever we want so it's just alert the content has been loaded. All right, so let's talk about what this means. So DOM content loaded is basically saying once the content of that popup.html page has fully been rendered, then we can do whatever we want to do within our code. If we didn't have this event listener here, the button would not work properly. The alerts most likely would not work properly and other things could break because they're running before the actual content of the HTML page has fully loaded and fully rendered. So now that we've saved it, let's update it and see how it works. So as you can see, once we click on the steam code icon, this alert appears, this content has been loaded, press OK. And as you can see, it's loaded right here. So that's just one application of this of this DOM content loaded function, but it's used in most JavaScript programs that are coincide with HTML in order to make sure that the code is all running when it should be. All right, so let's get rid of this alert and let's add some logic for the actual button. So let's say uh, document dot get element by ID and remember we set the ID of that button to button one and then we're going to add an event listener to this button so dot add event listener and then the event that this event listener is listening for is the click event so we're waiting for the user to click on the button then we're gonna have a function And the same as before, we're going to add things to this function that occur once this button has been clicked on. So let's do a similar alert. Alert. The button has been clicked on. Let's save and let's update. Click on the button. As you can see, an alert appears from Steam Code Chrome extension. The button has been clicked on. All right, so let's make it do something a little more interactive, I suppose. So change the color of the HTML page. 
So let's get the body of the HTML page because that's the color that that's the element that we're going to be changing the color of. So let's create var body is equal to document dot get elements by class name or not elements by class name elements by tag and the tag name is body of course and since this is getting all the elements with the tag body it's returning an array so we need to get the first element of that array and that first element has an index of zero so we need to put zero right there and then to reference its css we say style dot style and then within that style we're going to change the background color so let's say dot background color and that's going to equal let's say aqua if we save that update the extension click on the button as you can see an alert pops up and the background of the page changes all right now there are there's an infinite number of possibilities you can do to make your pop-up more interactive but this is just a basic intro and so now you know how to link your popup.js with your popup.html with buttons and other elements not only buttons that can be interactive you can make your h1 tags interactive you can make your p tags interactive you can make any tag that exists in html interactive within your pop-up and we're going to go over a few of those in fu in future videos but this is just a general introduction into getting your interactivity started within your pop-up all right so if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe please check out the discord linked in the description our github as well where all this code will be posted and i will see you all in the next one